It's Miss Laura from the Homewood Public Library, and I have my helper Penelope Hi. with me today. We are going to do a fun fitness activity. We are going to do some yoga, and we're going to start off with doing something super fun called the yoga pokey. Now, to do the yoga pokey, you'll want to get down on the ground and put your feet together like this. And this is called butterfly pose, which it really looks like a butterfly, especially when you flap your knees like this. And if you can't bring your legs all the way down, that's okay. You can have your butterfly right here, wherever you need it to be. It's not about stretching yourself out of your comfort zone. It's about stretching your body in ways that feel comfortable and good for you, okay? So to do the yoga pokey, we're gonna start off by lifting our left arm up like this. And I'm sure you'll be able to follow this song pretty easily. So you put your left arm in, you take your left arm out, you put your left arm in, and you shake it all about. You reach your arms way up high and you reach them way out. That's what it's all about. Butterfly! Now stretch your butterfly wings again. And now we are going to take our right arm. You put your right arm in, you take your right arm out, you put your right arm in, and you shake it all about. You reach your arms way up high and you reach them way out. That's what it's all about. Butterfly! And now we're going to do our legs. You put your left leg in, you take your left leg out, you put your left leg in and you shake it all about. You reach your arms way up high and you reach them way out. That's what it's all about. Butterfly! Good job. Now we're going to do our right leg. You put your right leg in, you put your right leg out, you put your right leg in and you shake it all about. You reach your arms way up high and you reach them way out. That's what it's all about. Butterfly. Last thing, our head. Are you ready? You put your head in, you take your head out. You put your head in and you shake it all about. You reach your arms way up high and you reach them way out. That's what it's all about. felt so good. I hope you're feeling warmed up too. And now we are going to do a yoga movement story. And in this story, we are going to use our movement in our bodies to grow from a seed to a tree. So we are going to start off in child's pose. And Penelope is showing you her child's pose right now. I'm going to start off by getting on um, my knees like this. And then putting my arms out in front of me and stretching all the way back and sitting on my knees. It feels so good. So let's take a deep breath in with this. Are you ready? Now let that breath out. And let's do that again. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good job. And if you want to be an even smaller seed, you can take your arms and put them behind you like this. And take another deep breath in. Another deep breath out. I think we're ready to grow. So now we're going to move our upper bodies up and sit back onto our feet, on our knees here, into seedlings. And let's stretch our arms up above our head like this. Wow, that feels so nice. You can even put your hands together and stretch up high if that feels good to you. And take a deep breath. And let it out. Good job. I like what Penelope's doing. Let's stretch to the side a little bit. Take a deep breath there. In and out. And now let's get the other side. 
out. That feels so good. I'm gonna drop my arms down. Ooh, deep breath in. And deep breath out. I think we're ready to grow again. Are you ready to grow? All right, so now we are going to go into a standing pose. So if you get on all fours and tuck your toes up underneath you, sit back and bring yourself rolling up rolling up all the way tall like a tree and you can bring your shoulders back too oh that feels so good it looks like your tree grew a little bit taller my tree grew a little taller than penelope's tree um i think you're absolutely right and you may not be able to see my head but that's okay you can you can watch penelope for this part so to be a tree we're going to do it on each side we're going to take our left leg out like this and then there's a couple of places where you can put your foot you can leave it on the ground right next to you your other leg. Um, you can bring it up on your calf like this. You can even try to put it up on your thigh like this, which you don't have to. It's a balance um, challenge, but never on your knee. You don't want to put it on your knee. So I'm going to leave my tree down here at the base and I'm going to bring my arms up again, my branches, and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Excellent tree. We are going to do that on the other side now. So we're going to take our right leg out like this. And again, you can put it at the base, on your calf, or on your thigh, never on our knee. And we are going to bring our branches up again. Deep breath in. We can even shake our branches. That's right. If you want to test your balance, you can shake your branches in the breeze just like this. Oh, awesome. Think about what kind of tree you want to be, too. Do you want to be an apple tree or a dogwood tree? So you could have apples, you could have flowers on you. There's all sorts of possibilities out there. Wow, that was nice. What do you think, Penelope? I like it. I hope you enjoyed doing some yoga with me and Penelope. It was so nice to spend time with you. And we are going to sit down, crisscross applesauce like this. And take another deep breath in together. Are you ready? Good job. Stretch. Thank you again, everyone. See you forgot soon. Shavasana, though. Bye. Shavasana? Yes. Oh, right. Sorry. Penelope said Shavasana. So what you can do at the end of a yoga session, which is one of our favorites, is to lay all the way down and just relax your whole body just like this deep press in and out and relax your head and your face and your neck and your shoulders and your arms and your hands and your fingers relax your stomach And your toes, unless someone's tickling your toes, and you might not be able to. <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me of that, Penelope. That's really nice. Well, Shavasana, as long as you want two friends, and we'll see you soon. Bye.